Well, today we've got a uh, 2004 Chevrolet Silverado with an overheating problem. Um, it's not a head gasket, it's not anything like that. Um, what we've got is a bad fan clutch. And today we're going to show you how to fix that. You don't have to replace the whole fan, you just have to replace the, the clutch or the fan hub or whatever you want to call it. So uh, we're going to get to it. First thing you got to do is move all the plastic stuff out of the way. We've got to remove the uh, intake tube and we got to remove the fan shroud to get access to the fan. If you look right down here, this is the object of our mission. I don't know if you, the lighting is going to show it or not, but that's what we're after. Okay, a little tip. Some people seem to have trouble with this, but when you're working on one of these fan clutches that do not bolt to the water pump, they thread on. You can see this one, there's just a nut where it threads on. To break it loose, you always spin the nut in the direction that the fan spins while the engine is running. So this way, the fan spins this way to move the air. So when we put our wrench on here, this one takes an inch and seven sixteenths. You have to turn it in the direction. that it, the fan runs. Uh, that'll, if you learn that it'll never steer you wrong because a lot of people a lot of times these are left hand threads and people have a hard time getting them off because they're trying to turn it the wrong way so a quick little guide is whatever way the, the fan blades are pitched like they're pitched this way so that it throws the air out so the fan spins this direction or if you're looking at it from the front it would be a counterclockwise fan So that's a little tech tip for the day. So anyway, to do this, we had to remove our fan shroud and set that off to the side. And then, simply, as long as you broke the nut loose, and you leave the belt on, you do not have to remove the belt to do this job. You just spin the fan, pop it off, then there's four bolts on here. Just remove these four bolts and uh, place the fan on the new hub and uh, put it back okay, together. Okay, when you're changing these clutches, you have to pay attention because, some, like I was telling you earlier, some of them are clockwise rotation, some of them are counterclockwise. And even though the hub may look a little different, you know, that, that really doesn't make any difference. All you need to know is that it's the right uh, rotation. And if you can see, I don't know how good my camera is going to pick that up, but there's arrows showing that our uh, our rotation is in fact correct. So we take our new clutch, put the fan on there, it's like so. These are aluminum so you gotta be careful not to cross thread them. Keep you in frame here. And these don't have to be ridiculously tight. I'm sure there's a torque spec for them, but just good and snug. They're not going to come off. 
You want to make sure to get them tight because you do not want this fan coming off. There's that one. Those are tight. And then a little thing I like to do before you put it back together, you can never know when you're going to have to put another one on. Or if you're going to have to change the water pump. So, always take and put a little dab of anises. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. So to put this on, we turn it opposite of the direction that the fan spins. There we go. This don't have to be real tight because as the engine runs, it's constantly tightening it. So that's all you need. And put the fan shrouds back on. Dolls. Two plastic push in. Just like so. These little bolts, it's always a good idea to put a dab of anti-seas on these as well. These are the ones that always give you trouble. They like to rust up and break off. Out your hoses correctly, put everything back in the clips. And you want to reinstall your air box. Making sure you didn't get any dirt or grime or grits or anything in it. You don't want that stuff going into your engine. These are all routed properly. You'd be surprised how many times you see cars coming in, people put these air boxes in. I don't know what it is about these clamps, but you'd be surprised how many times people forget to tighten them up. And that can cause all kinds of drivability issues because this is a mass airflow engine. So even the tiniest little leak can cause some major drivability issues. So, so there you go. Now you know how to fix it yourself. Alright, we're in the 04 uh, Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD with a 6 liter. We just put the fan clutch in it. Fun to show you. We've been uh, driving for about a half an hour now. We're pulling a 28 foot double axle uh, Coachman camper trailer. Weighs somewhere around uh, 5,000, 5, pounds. We're not even at 210 on the temp gauge yet. 
So that uh, fan punch completely fixed our overheating issue. That's about, about where a 6 liter should run. 200, 205, 210 is normal. So that's a uh, successful repair.